Hey guys, I am back and this uh, podcast is going to be on one part of the FAST or the EFAST exam. One part out of five. So remember with the EFAST you have um, lungs, uh, cardiac, um, right and left abdomen and um, pelvis. So this is going to be on the right upper quadrant, um, the liver kidney interface or Morrison's pouch. And uh, here's a demonstration of um, what we're doing here. So this person is using the curved transducer, which is fine. That's my uh, preference. You can also use the phased array or the cardiac probe. Um, it can see between the ribs a little easier. Sometimes the curved array, you have to tilt uh, the superior probe up a little bit or the inferior probe up a little bit, um, kind of wiggle around to see between the ribs. Not a huge deal. So you want the probe in the um, um, mid-axillary line. And again, this is a hepatorenal view or Morrison's pouch. And what this view represents is um, the interface between the liver and the kidney. You're looking at that potential space and that's what's called Morrison's pouch. Now with this right upper quadrant um, and with the left as well, uh, but you need to get various views. You can't just stick it on the abdomen and get the one view. You need to uh, move the probe up and down and get um, all three views. And the first view up there represents um, subdiaphragmatic. The second view represents Morrison's pouch. And then the third view, you want to make sure that you get um, the uh, liver tip and the inferior pole of the kidney. Sometimes blood can hide back there. And um, here's the... Um, anatomy marked and you can see in the marked one that um, Morrison's pouch runs right along here and this is the inferior pole of the kidney. Let me backtrack here a second. So what you're looking at this direction here so this direction here right again, is superior. So that's heading to the chest. This direction is inferior, and that's heading down towards the feet. This is anterior, where you have your probe on the skin, and this is posterior, so the deeper into the body you go. And this is the diaphragm right here, and of course you're heading up into the chest. And then the spine, you can't see it very well in this picture, but you will on some others, is right down here. And you'll see that, and we'll talk about what's called a spine sign. And of course, this is a kidney. And you can see on this picture here, Morrison's pouch is right here. This is the liver. This is the kidney. And this is a spine. You can see a little bit better on this shot. And of course, this is the diaphragm. You can see there's no fluid in here. So you still can't call this negative because you're not really seeing the inferior pole of the kidney or the caudal tip of the liver. You need to make sure that you move into um, move inferior along that line and um, catch those to make sure there's no fluid or blood in those areas. And here's a different patient. And once again, uh, this here is kidney. This is liver. Remember, this is moving superior to the chest. This is moving towards the feet. This here is the spine. And that's posterior moving down through the body. Of course, that's this is anterior moving up. So this is a spine. This is Morrison's pouch right here between the kidney and the liver. And you can see this black anechoic um, stripe there and a larger black area up here. And that's fluid or blood. And this would be a positive FAST exam. And here's a, another patient. And again, you can see the liver. right here and this is a kidney 
and spine is down here. This is the start of the diaphragm. <clears throat> and you can see this black anechoic stripe right here. And you have the inferior pole of the kidney, so you're good there. And this is the caudal tip of the liver. Um, so this is a, a good inferior view. But you can see this black anechoic stripe there, and that again represents blood or fluid. So this would be a positive exam. So here is what appears to be a normal um, right upper quadrant view. And what I want to talk about here is um, spine side and mirror image. <clears throat> you need to go superior enough as you're doing this fast exam because you want to rule out a pleural effusion as well. So a mirror image is normal. And what that is, this is the liver. This is the diaphragm here. And this looks like liver, but that's what's called a mirror image. And it's just the ultrasound um, not finding any fluid or bone or anything else. And it just um, reverberates and it makes this mirror image of, of what you see in the liver. And this is spine right here. Of course, this is the kidney. So that mirror image like this is a normal finding because the lung is just full of air, and so you just get the mirror image back, bounced back up off the kidney. Now a spine sign, let's see if I can get this to work. There we go. This is an actual ultrasound. And you can see right in this area is a black anechoic area. This is liver. Um, you don't see much of the kidney, but because we're superior. And this is the spine. Now, you shouldn't see this spine extend past the diaphragm. See, this is the diaphragm right here. And what you should see is what looks like the liver over in here, but we don't. And this is the spine here, and that's a normal, really what you should see. But you can see starting at the diaphragm, we still see spine. And that's called a spine sign, because since there's fluid in this pleural space, you don't get the reverberation, and you are able to see the spine underneath that fluid. So this spine sign tells you that there is fluid accumulated in the pleural space. You can see the diaphragm there. There's nothing subdiaphragmatic on this side, which is abdomen, but there is on this side, which is plural. And this black anechoic area is um, fluid. Let me rerun this and see if this is, a, is the lung or not. Okay, so that moving part, that white moving part is uh, lung, and it's just floating in the fluid. And here's another patient. You can see that piece in the middle here floating around there. That's lung. And this is liver. This is blood or fluid, depending on the patient, of course. This here is the lung floating around in that fluid. The diaphragm is right here. And you can see spine sign, which you should not be able to see right here. And this is the normal spine that you see over here. So remember, this way is um, superior. So this is abdomen here. You're moving up into the chest. So there's a um, very significant amount of fluid up here in the um, right chest. So there's so much fluid up there. You can see the lung again just floating around in here right in this area. I'd also like to mention um, a course coming up this October. It's absolutely outstanding. I took it a couple years ago, and um, the instruction is top notch. Uh, Jonathan Klein, Brian Sele, and others are um, at the top of their game with critical care ultrasound, um, point of care ultrasound. And um, it'll be held October 26th and 27th, and uh, beautiful Tampa, Florida. What more could you ask for?
Okay, here's a schedule of the two-day course. You can see what they cover. They cover um, transthoracic echo, both fundamentals um, up to the advanced calculations. A lot of hands-on experience. Uh, you'll get pulmonary um, ultrasound, pulmonary airway, of course, FAST exam, FAST, as well as um, IDC evaluation, um, IV central lines, uh, a lot of hands-on practice A lines. It's just a fantastic course, and I can't recommend it um, enough. Also, a couple of podcasts I want to mention, ultrasoundpodcast.com, as well as 5minutesauna.com. Uh, both really, really good, and um, I eagerly await every new posting they do, so those two are highly recommended as well. Again, thanks.